Ladies, gentlemen, children of the corn, toolbox update. This one's at the house. I got rid of the old Maco one. Ended up getting a pretty good deal on it. So you snap on one. Um, shout out to Joe Biden. So basically what we got going on here is just a bunch of shit. I ended up getting the snap-on add-on power strip for this. Uh, that was totally worth the hundred fucking dollars I paid for it. And the side grid thing that holds this monstrosity in the air hammer. That was, yeah, another 200 bucks I didn't need to spend, but oh well. Basically we got half inch impact sockets. I think it's just a little bit of everything. Mostly Icon on the half inch metric. Then we got the most useless sockets I've ever bought because you can tell they've never been used um, ever. There's a spline drive, Matco, quarter inch and three eighths deeps. Literally, I've never used them. Ultra shallow Matcos, Matco ADB swivels. Those, I've, had, I've gotten some good life out of those. Then on this side is all Cornwell Blue Power impact sockets on one of those I think it's Mechanics Time Saver. One of those friction peg socket things. It's the only thing that fits impact sockets really good. Refreshment break. <sighs> mm, so good when it's 75 degrees on the day after Christmas in Florida. And then I have, I believe these are, yep, Cormo Blue Power. The whole set, inch and quarter, down to 3 eighths, which I don't know why these are missing because I know where they are. I just didn't put them on. Makes sense of that. And then the two inch and three eighths that this Hanson, I think it's a Hanson Global, uh, peg holder doesn't have. It goes straight from, straight from inch and 16th, skips to inch and eighth, and then goes right to inch and a quarter. Inch and three sixteenths does not have a home. And then we go to a snap-on peg holder with more Cormel Blue Power, the chrome socket. I like them, they're good for the money. I wish I would've bought just all Sun X and Tekton shit, but whatever and then standard Cormo blue power impacts on a snap-on peg holder that was on a snap-on peg holder too and then the old trusty gear inch quarter inch deep in mids because i don't know sizes apparently and i got the mid-length ones instead of the shallows oh well they're gear inch on a harbor freight i think peg holder same with that's on a harbor freight peg holder and i don't like the harbor freight ones because they're fucking long as shit this holds the exact same amount of sockets but it's that much shorter and that makes all the difference inside of a tool cart i don't know why they have to make it so fucking long and then over here we got matco pry bars along with mayhew dominators uh, pretty much two of each size except for the 36 inch snap-on that's just kind of chilling out i think i i think i double ordered one of these one time and two came showed up and i don't know but i got two and then I got over here, I got a magnet and a cheap light that I got for Christmas, which that's cool. The gear inch 90 tooth, 24 inch flex head, 90 tooth uh, short flex head, Chinese breaker bar, hemorrhoid extractor with a magnet in the hole. A pair of gloves, you know, for when my pussy hurts. And other than that, that's pretty much it on the top. Oh, flip socket. Blue point for doing lug nuts very handy and then matco soundbar and lighting sponsored by gear inch which we're gonna move coming down first drawer down we have gear inch 90 tooth matco 88 tooth blue handle 90 tooth small heads all this shit's 90 tooth except for the couple matcos that are in here that's the only reason i have that because it's 40th anniversary one because i hate matco ratchets but and I say that, and I have the blacked out with green handles and the red 40th anniversary. Long as shit, I think there's a 30 inch flex heads, then charging cord and some random shit, and a set of feeler gauges, and a thing to fill up your tires. And one more down, I have my wrenches. That's still missing a couple. I'm trying to find some trying to find some older ones to put in here instead of brand new ones because i don't like paying retail for shit anymore it's pretty much quarter inch all the way up to inch and a half without skipping any sizes and they're all american made so it's katie oh i think that's a thornson 
Nope. SK. Yep. SK, then Thornton, Super Ranch, Williams, SK, East Co, more Williams, Snap on Cornwell, more East Co. I love those East Co ranches. Snap on Cornwell, Matco, then these two sizes, as soon as I find some American ones to put in there. And then these, that's a Williams Super Ranch, and that's a uh, SK, inch and a half. Fun fact that green is uh, from supposedly, I don't know, it's hearsay, from the Gemini. Uh, program out of the space center because i live on the space coast and a lot of tools get uh swiped out of the tool rooms especially from back in the day and apparently these worked on the gemini project because that's gemini green from what the guy told me how true is that i don't know but i'm gonna keep telling the story until i find out it's not true and then i have the proto anti-slips this is an sk and this is an sk everything else is proto anti-slip i got the 14 millimeter literally coming in anytime and I need to find a 15. If anybody's got one, let me know. It has to be the Proto Anti Slip. I'm super OCD. And the 30 mil Proto Anti Slip I just picked up, and I got a 27 mil coming. I got an old diamond. Well, fuck you then. I got a diamond tools uh, nut fucker crescent wrench. That's the word I'm looking for. And then one more drawer down. We got pliers and other random shit. Uh, I think those are all Matco. That's all Cornwell, except for that Titan Tools long cutter. I got, like, AutoZone. And then a Mac pair of wire strippers. I like these wire strippers. They're nice. Nice and little. Mac oil filter wrench. Uh, stole these from my wife because they're about the best flush cuts ever. And she got them with, like, one of her craft things. And she's not getting them back. Don't tell her. Shh. Secrets between me, you, and everybody else on the internet. Mac o hose cutoff pliers. The worst snappering pliers in the fucking world. I'll never buy those again. Down in the comments, tell me what that tool is for. My small engine mechanics and go-kart guys should shine right now. Let me know what that is down in the comments. I'd be surprised if a lot of people know about that. Spring puller, air hammer bits, gear wrench picks, the world's cutest pair of slip joint pliers from Cornwall. That's why they're rusting. And a tiny little crescent wrench because it's cute and I got it at tractor supply. And then Matco long picks. Uh, most of my Matco shit's home now because I don't have a Matco guy anymore. So can't really get shit warrantied. And the guy I used to work with, he's being a pain in the ass. So it's whatever. Oh, and an o OTC um, screwdriver, hammer, um, impact driver. Electrical drawer. It's whatever. Cornwall meter. Uh, I believe that's a Millennium scanner. Snap on test light with the digital readout. Teflon tape for electrical. I don't know. Fuck it. So colored zip ties, regular zip ties, another test light. Starter button. Ka -ching. Amp clamp. Uh, coil tester for your spark tester. It's the long, you know, for your deep holes. You want to reach all sides. Spark tester. Uh, fuse checker. It's useless. Something for my NOCO jump pack and some cables for my NOCO jump pack and a pair of wire strippers from Matco. I actually like these. And this is more shit rifled from the Space Center, I think. I got it used from, at a pawn shop, but it's a uh, it's a crimper for special types of crimps. I'm pretty sure that came from the Space Center as well. I don't know. Prove it. Then one more down. We got screwdrivers my five vice grips a piece of rod that i use as a punch because it's harder than a coffin nail uh, a ratcheting snap-on screwdriver that i use i have all posi drive bits in there for that fucking jic bullshit and just a snap-on like 15 tips in one fucking wipe your ass you find the button screwdriver I'm amazed that's not lost yet snap-on blow gun for good blow jobs bits Snap on hammer, Wilt and Bash, best hammer ever. Cheap punches, uh, headlamp, cut you out. Okay, it's fucking dead. Moving on. <laughs> All my shit's dead. And then, Matco. What Matco? Milwaukee. I don't know. I'm fucking, it's after Christmas. I'm tired. Got the 12 volt drill. The old Gen 1 3 8 impact. I never fucking used that thing. I always used the 
these shorties. I love these things. These are awesome. Got the three eighths and a half in that. The die grinder, the regular grinder. This has become my new favorite. I use this thing whenever and wherever I can. I love this gun. It's on power mode one. I use it with the 3.0 uh, high output. It's not, not heavy and it's got just as much oomph as a five amp hour does. Then I have a couple batteries, my the half inch. I need to get the third quarter for home because I'm definitely in need of it. And then, oh, other than that, there ain't a whole lot more that's been going on other than just rearranging the garage and trying to get it all looking pretty and trying to conjure up a welding table. I got a welder, all kinds of fun stuff now. So yeah, that's a shorter video. Just thought I'd hold you guys over till I can get the time to do a proper video of my toolboxes at work. Those got all the big shit in it for working on cats. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. This is just kind of a little holdover video because I haven't made one in a while and all three of you that actually care think I probably died. All right guys, have a Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year.